Our country is blessed with rich natural resources, but sadly, we have repeatedly squandered these gifts. We are destroying nature's fragile treasures over time, but there is still a glimmer of hope. In this series, we take a look at various protected areas throughout the archipelago to learn the stories of the land, how it was once neglected and abused, and how it is slowly being renewed. This is Loren Legarda, and I present our Fragile Earth, Protected Areas of the Philippines. In Bakwit Bay in El Nido, Palawan, a small bird, the swiftlet, or the balin sasayaw, inhabits the taraos, the town's majestic limestone cliffs. These birds occupy hundreds of caves and crevices within the rock formations. The male birds use their saliva to construct a nest and form a shallow basin attached to the rocks. At the break of dawn, as these birds fly to feed in nearby farms and forests, cave raiders climb these treacherous taraos to harvest the nests and sell it to local traders. The heavily harvested nest from the Aerodramus fusifagus, or the edible nest swiftlet, is a luxury ingredient for a Chinese delicacy, nido soup, and has driven the town's economy since the Song Dynasty. Tourism is another industry that changed the economic landscape of this paradise. An exceptional beauty that is located in a most secluded and serene corner of the world, El Nido has become a secret hideaway for many scuba divers. As more visitors check it off their list of must-see places, the need to implement greater environmental protection became crucial. Under the protection of the Philippine government, the town's name was changed from Bakwit to its present name, El Nido Marine Reserve. Ang El Nido ay unique sa ibang uh, munisipyo ng lalawigan ng Palawan. Ang pinupuntahan dito yung mga virgin forest, yung aming mga limestone, yung aming mga clear water, yung mga white beaches namin, at uh, uh, yung mga ibang tanawin pa. But in 1998, the Department of Environment and Natural Resources elevated the status of El Nido as a protected area. Pursuant to RA 7586 or the NIPAS Act, covering 89,134 hectares to be known as the El Nido Managed Resource Protected Area. Makikita dito yung 45 genera of hard corals at may rami pang mga unidentified uh, corals, uh, including soft corals. We have also 197 species of fish dito sa protected area. We have marine turtles, and then yung tinatawag na dugong, or yung sikaw, uh, dito sa protected area. Blessed with stunning natural sceneries, enchanting lagoons, and diverse ecosystems. El Nido is now one of the major tourist destinations in the world. Ang isla maganda. But if you if you dive doon sa sa mga sa mga reef ay may makikita kang mga sira. Sa 100 square meter natin ay 32 square meter ang alive. Mapatay na yung iba. Tripling in number in the last 10 years, human activity has increased the threat to El Nido's pristine environment. Water sampling tests conducted by the Environment Management Bureau of Mimaropa in the public beach cove of the town proper shoreline in 2011 shows contamination of coliform, or bacteria from human and animal waste. The drainage system of smaller hotels and commercial establishments located on the white beach of El Nido town proper leads directly to the open water 
untreated. The commercialization of El Nido comes at a price, the degradation of its rich and diverse marine resources. Progress brought about by tourism is good, but if rapid development destroys natural resources, the community ends up with nothing. We should ask ourselves, is money worth the destruction? So, sa ngayon, uh, kaya hindi namin napaghandaan, pero sa ngayon, ang local government unit ay mayroong ginawang uh, priority na mitigating measure na nagbili kami ng disladding truck na yun ang uh, uh, ginagawa namin, nagpapasipsip kami sa lahat ng mga, mga waste tank. Ang LGU nag-file na ng ng loan application, I think, to the Development Bank of the Philippines for a sewerage treatment plan. And then uh, there's some easement, easement policy that to be to be developed also. The 50, this is a 25 plus 5 easement from, from the high tide. El Nido's undisputed beauty and bounty have offered alternative livelihoods to the traditional and dangerous sport of exploiting the fauna that inhabits the enigmatic Taraos. With an improved quality of life, the people of Palawan know that the only way to sustain these benefits is to protect the precious wealth of the environment, a huge endeavor that requires the commitment of every stakeholder.